guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the bed build day <laughs> life has thrown us a little bit of a plot twist and the van that we have already converted and currently live in is in the shop for about a week right now leaving us with this van to call home so we are kind of switching the order of our projects around we had a couple of projects that we wanted to get done in the garage space before we put the bed in but now that we've got nowhere to sleep the bed is going in but i'm not going to sit here and chat too long because uh, we've got a lot to do today for the construction of the bed, we're going to build like a basic platform, but I actually found a little bit of a trick from another YouTuber. Um, to use these IKEA bed slats, we got the full size, and they fit this area like perfectly. So we're really excited to try them out. They were only $30, so I don't think we could build anything with the cost of lumber right now for any cheaper. So I'm really excited to give this a try, and hopefully it will save us time and money. We're planning on building the bed frame about to where this foil is on the wall here, so we'll need to trim this up a little bit. We want to have the bed a little bit less high than in our current build. Currently it's even with the counters and it's a little bit too high for Haley to jump and sometimes I have to jump. So. <laughs> beneath where I'm sitting but we have to run back to the hardware store tomorrow to get some more supplies for that so for now we're just gonna get this part of the frame finished up and the bed slats put on and then we'll finish up the rest tomorrow afternoon gonna be so comfy your pockets sticking out it looks so nice huge garage space we'll end up finishing off these wheel wells in the next few weeks when we work on setting up our electrical system which is going to be housed down here and then we'll have our slide out fridge and our laundry is gonna go underneath our bed similar to our last span a little laundry chute I'm so excited. got everything packed back into the van get the rest of our framing taken care of 
pick up our mattress. We will pick up with you guys again tomorrow to get the bed finished up, mattress in, and spend our very first night in our brand new van. <laughs> Perfect. We now have two shelves. And we went on a supply run. We've got our mattress, some more wood to work with. Things are coming along nicely. So we went on a supply run to town today, but we don't have anywhere to store this plywood overnight. So our next project is going to be turning this plywood into some drawers so that we have space to get our mattress all put into place to sleep in here tonight. These are gonna be absolutely massive drawers. Looking good. Okay, update guys, this mattress came with some instructions and it says to give it some space for 24 to 48 hours so we might have to reschedule our first night in this van till tomorrow. It says this bag is not a toy. Not a toy Joshua, handle with care, this is very serious. <laughs> it's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's upside down. A bed! Ooh. I'm sad we can't sleep in here till tomorrow, though. And I'm sad I melted my candles. I bought these as my first decorations for the van and I forgot they were in here and they're all melted. <laughs> all right, since we can't sleep in here tonight, I guess we will see you guys bright and early to get those drawers assembled in the morning and move in tomorrow night. We've picked up our ceiling paneling. Last build we went with a quarter inch pine, but they don't seem to sell that anymore. So this go around, we're using some cedar planking. I'm gonna stain this this afternoon while Josh works on assembling our drawers. so good <laughs> so the cedar planks have a little bit more of a color to them than the pine planks did um, so I have this aged walnut stain picked out but I'm not really sure how well that's gonna work on this so I'm gonna stain test it on the back and see how I feel about it not entirely sure that I like the stain. It's much warmer than I thought and I'm not sure how well it will look with our floors that I already bought. I almost think I like it raw better so I'm going to try just spot testing the varnish and see what it does to the wood and go from there. You know, I really don't think either one of those is what I was going for. Ugh! This drawer is huge! 
it looks so good, Josh. We're gonna have so much more usable storage space in this van. That's amazing. I'm letting my stains dry. I'm still not sure I like them, but the longer I'm looking at them, the less I hate them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. While those are drying, Josh has got this first drawer built and is working on the install. Sorry about our trash. From the new van. Oh, I'm very happy to report the new mattress is so comfortable. Got our sheets all put on last night. And a waterproof mattress cover just to keep everything safe while we're building in here. Also while we're living in here. I feel like things just get spilled more often in a tiny space. Got our window covers up. Had a nice peaceful sleep. It wasn't even too loud, even though we are kind of by a bigger road here. Overall, couldn't be happier with the progress that we've made this week. And I'm happy to have a place to call home again, even if it's still a construction zone. I will see you guys next Sunday. Is that gonna be your spot, baby? Looks like a good spot for you. Josh is on cabinet assembly, drawer assembly. Goodness. <laughs> We're planning on adding a slide out. <laughs> Can we do that again? <laughs> it's, uh, See how much it unfolds? <laughs>